And now, back to the second half of the discussion and your host, Mr. Standish. Hello, I'm J.T. Standish, along with my guests, the noted zoologist, Dr. Emery Contrer, author of The Factual Basis of Legends, and on my right, this network's genial science editor, author of such books as Non-Science or Nonsense, Jules Manning. Our subject, the giant turtle Gamera, certainly one of the most controversial subjects of our time. Dr. Contrer, earlier in our program, you stated the belief that Gamera could, in fact, exist, while Mr. Manning disagreed rather vigorously. And I still do. This theory of Dr. Hadakas is pure science fiction, a figment of an unbridled imagination. Mr. Manning, any theory until proven appears unbelievable to the ignorant. Dr. Hadaka's conclusions are based upon a life study. Now, let me restate that uh, turtles, porpoises, or scientifically, colonians, appear constantly in the most ancient texts. Uh, for example, the uh, Greek terribuli of mythology that lived in fire, and uh, also the uh, Pyrobola of Pliny. What are you trying to prove, Doctor? Uh, that to a scholar, uh, there is more than just a casual basis for Dr. Hidaka's conclusions. Now, we know for a fact that a mere million years ago or so, the gigantic Kalasakalis Atlas plodded over the hills of northern India. The largest turtle ever known, a link to the more distant past. Now, how gigantic were turtles a hundred million years ago, or even two hundred million years ago? I'd like to discuss the conflicting newspaper reports. So you and the eminent Dr. Hidaka conclude that this Gamera creature has been hibernating underground for 200 million years until now, when he decides to take a stroll. <laughs> oh, Dr. Contrer, you do have a sense of humor. <laughs> I'm simply advancing the theory uh, that the uh, great granddaddy of all turtles could have reappeared, released from its tomb of ice by the explosion of the bomb. Now, you may blithely ignore the statements of Dr. Hidaka, if you wish, However, I note that you haven't offered a more reasonable explanation for the total destruction of the Chittaramaru. If you'll get down from your pulpit for one minute, I'd like to ask you why Washington is so silent about all this. Or do you know more about it than the government? It would not be the first time Washington has kept the truth from the public, whether it be flying saucers or Gamera. Oh, so now you believe in flying saucers, along with 200 feet turtles that survive atomic bomb explosions. <laughs> Of course, we all know there really is a Santa Claus. Oh, Dr. Contrary, every time you bray, you make a bigger jackass of yourself. Jules, please, we're on the yes. Mr. Standish, I demand an apology. I've devoted my life to science. Gentlemen, you will get no apology from me, Contrary. I Jules, prefer to explain. You have no scholarships to back your arguments. You have no arguments, Gentlemen. only invective. Read. Read, read, read Virgil's Lea, come on, read Paradise Lost. The ravings of a lunatic. Read of the Pyrites, the fire without and the frost within. Read, you ignorant ape. Read what intelligent men have written for thousands of years. What did he call please. me? Jules, please. He called me an ape? Um, no, gentlemen. Not merely ape. Quiet. Please ignorant remember that we're on the... Why, you? Remember that we're on the How dare you call me an ape? Where did you get your diploma? Made in Japan? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that we run out of time. What do you want to advance me? I hope you'll be with us again next week for another... What do you expect to make out of this? I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you.